Now let us look at the number of relations. The number of relations which are which are symmetric. The number of relations which are symmetric. Right. That means I am trying to answer this question. What are the number of relations which are symmetric? What are the number of relations which are symmetric? Right. For a relation, if a relation has to be symmetric, then in that relations, in that relation, if we have x r y, then y r x should also be there. Then y r x should also be there. Then you can clearly see. See, if we have this set A and the cardinality of set A is n, then the cardinality of set A square will be A cross A will be n square, right? Now you can see. For these elements, that is one comma one, two comma two, three comma three, and four comma four, if a relation has to be symmetric, then for these elements, for every single one of these elements, we have two choices. Either this element can be there in a symmetric relation or not. Either this element can be there in a symmetric relation or not. Either these element can be there in a symmetric relation or not. And either these element can be there in the symmetric relation or not. Okay. So these are total n elements. These are total. n elements right for these n elements we have two rest power n choices we have two rest power n choices you can clearly see because if one is related to one then uh, if this is x this is y then y x will also be same so i have already shown you that this kind of relation will be symmetric so if a relation has to be symmetric for these elements we have two rest power n choices now for the other elements we have a choice in a pair we have a choice in a pair we have a choice in a pair We have a choice in a pair. What, what do I mean to say? If I'm saying choice in a pair, I mean to say if a relation has to be symmetric, then if one comma two is there, then obviously two comma one will also be there. If one comma three is there, then three comma one will also be there. If one comma four is there, then four comma one will also be there. If two comma three is there, then three comma two should also be there. We have we don't have a choice. If we have this pair, then this should be there. If we have this pair, then this should be there. If we have this pair, then this should be there. But for all these pairs. We have two choices. We have two choices. Either we include this pair or not. Either we include this complete pair or not. Either we include this complete pair or not. Either we include this complete pair or not. Right. So how many pairs are there? So if you check, check the total number of elements is n square. Out of these elements, we have total n elements, which are these diagonal elements. Then if you look at the number of elements like this, how many elements are there? How many elements are these? So if you look at these n elements, then this is total n square. Minus n by two pairs. We have total n square minus n by two pairs. Why it is n square minus n by two? Total we have n square elements. Out of these n square elements, we have these n elements are diagonal elements. The remaining elements are n square minus n. But because we have divided these remaining elements in pairs, so we have n square minus n by two pairs. Right. So for all these pairs, for every pair we have two choices. So for all these pairs we have two raised to power n square. Minus two upon two choices that they may be there in the relation or not, but because of these, because of these, we have how many choices are there? There two two raised to power n into two raised to power n square minus n by two. So you can say if I am saying the number of relations which are symmetric, they are two raised to power n into two raised to power n square minus n by two. Two raised to power n into two raised to power n square minus n by two. Okay. Now let us try to find out all these reasons, and let us try to find out what is the relations relationship between these different types of relations that is symmetric and reflexive. Okay. Now let us try to answer some of these questions. So you can see we have answered this question that the number of relations which are symmetric. You can say the number of relations. Assume the number of relations which are symmetric. So how many relations are there which are symmetric? These are two uh, raised to power n. Into two raised to power n square minus n by two. Okay. So next question is, what are the number of relations which are reflexive? Number of relations which are reflexive. Number of relations which are reflexive. That means I'm trying to answer this complete. How many relations are there which are reflexive? We have already answered this in the previous case also. We have already answered the number of relations which are reflexive. So how many relations are there which are reflexive? These are two raised to power n square minus n. These are many relations are there which are reflexive. Okay. Now, now I know what are the total number of relations. So we know what is the total number 
of relations which are possible that is this universal set which is equal to 2 raised to the power n square we have already seen this now let us try to answer some questions first of all the number of relations which are not symmetric the number of relations which are not symmetric that is we are going to do total number of relations total number of relations total number of relations minus number of symmetric relations total number of relations total number of relations minus number of symmetric relations so how many relations are there these are total 2 raised to power n square minus 2 raised to power n into 2 raised to power n square minus n by 2 so these many relations are there which are not symmetric number of relations which are symmetric as well as reflexive number of relations which are symmetric as well as reflexive that means we are trying to answer we are trying to find this one we are trying to find this area the number of relations which are symmetric as well as reflexive symmetric as well as reflexive so for a relation if a relation has to be symmetric that means for these elements we have choice and for these elements we have choices in pair but if a relation has to be reflexive then these elements should be there then these elements should be there for these elements we don't have a choice right so for now if the relation has to be symmetric as well as reflexive then these elements should be there so for these elements we have one choices but if a relation has to be symmetric then these elements should come in pair so number of relations which are symmetric as well as reflexive these are 2 raised to power n square minus n by 2 i hope you are getting this 2 raised to power n square minus n by 2 why because we don't have we don't have choices for them if the relation has to be symmetric as well as reflexive then this choice is eliminated but for this we have these many choices okay now let us look at the number of relations which are symmetric or reflexive the number of relations which are symmetric or reflexive how can you do it you can find the number of relations which are symmetric plus the number of relations which are reflexive minus the number of relations which are symmetric and reflexive which are symmetric and reflexive you know this so it is 2 raised to power n into 2 raised to power n square minus n by 2 plus 2 raised to power n square minus n minus 2 raised to power n square minus n by so these many relations will be there which are symmetric as well as uh, symmetric or reflexive you can also answer this, some more questions like number of relations which are symmetric number of relations which are symmetric but not reflexive but not reflexive how can you do it it is number of relations which are symmetric minus number of relations which are symmetric and reflexive which are symmetric and reflexive and if you want to answer the number of relations which are symmetric which are not symmetric and reflexive for this you can see the number of relations which are symmetric or you can see the number of relations which are reflexive number of relations which are reflexive minus the number of relations which are symmetric and reflexive so you can put these values and you can get the answer for this so this is the relationship between the symmetric relations and reflexive relations now let us look at the relationship between the symmetric relations and irreflexive relations. Symmetric relations and irreflexive relations.